let's generate some there's some queries that are a little bit more involved. Continuation of simple SQL queries. Um, then here we're gonna just do some some uh, slightly more complex SQL queries, but they're still very simple. They're gonna show you how to use more features of SQL. Mm, an example of one of those is we can get, for example, select like ID and we can sum the trip duration. Uh, I'll just call it up. Here we're using the keyword as to rename um, a calculation into an uh, easy to use column name. And then we just do here from trip data group by Bike ID. When we run this, we're basically uh, going row by row of the, our trip data um, table and getting buckets where we put every single uh, row depending on the back ID. And at the end, we just take all those buckets and sum the trip duration. So the result is we get for each back ID a total number of seconds that, that this. Um, this bike was used. So we can divide this number by uh, 3600 to get the number of hours. And I will show you a trick that is very useful to get numbers into buckets. So this is the number of hours. Um, I want to actually get them into our buckets. Um, what I do to do that is I round this number divided by 100 and multiply by 100. Uh, so what I'm doing is basically rounding uh, the uh, a longer number and a float number into an integer and then multiply by 100 to get it back into the same range. It's a very useful trip, trip, uh, trick to create in histograms since uh, we're getting uh, buckets of 100 each and assigning uh, each one of these rows into one of those buckets. As you see here, for example, this number is 248, it's going to be 200, 175, it's going to be 100, and even 192 is going to be 100, but once it's close to, to 200, you're going to become 200. So here I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting the bucket between 0 and 100, I'm calling it 0, between 100 and 200, I'm calling it 100, and so on. So you can imagine that anything between 100 and 200 will be Will become the, the, the number 100. So I'm going to use a very useful feature of SQL called subqueries. Uh, I'll just click on select asterisk uh, from and here for easier SNS to read we use this parents and it will get the same data. So basically this creates a result which is a table and that table can be queried from outside that table. So it's super useful. In this case we do um, our pocket count asterisk from this group by our bucket. This uh, basically will result in, um, in a histogram that is going to tell us exactly how many times you will get an average, a, a, a given duration in this data set. Okay, so here we get, uh, for example, between 0 and 100, you get uh, 1,725 uh, occasions. Then from 100 to 100, you have about 4,000, 200 to 100, 4,000, and then it dies down again. So you can do this dividing by 10 here, by 10 here, and you'll get a more fine grained result. So this is how you do histograms using SQL. Another um, useful feature of SQL is uh, doing string manipulation. Uh, for example, remember, um, I can use a start time from three data uh, limit three. So the, the start time format is like this is a string that has first the date and then the time. We can take the start time and do something like uh, string uh, this 
column, then start from the first one and take uh, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 characters. So remember it was um, the start time. So remember the start time takes, it has the date and the time, but if we take the substring from the first character, the length 10, uh, we only get uh, the date. You can do something similar for the time. Um, that will be from 11. Oh, we have an extra comma. Uh, so you see, we, we split basically the this um, this string that has date and time into a column that is date and a column that is time. Uh, we can even be fancier. We can call this as D as D. Um, we can do, for example, from one length four, um, oh, from six length two, from nine, I believe, then two, this will be the year, uh, month, date, and time. And you'll see here, uh, the date is what we expect, which is the date part of the start time. Then the year is 2017, the month is 5, because it starts in the 6th character, and it has link 2, the date is 1, and so on. So everything is working fine. We can use this, for example, to do a cross query uh, between two columns, we haven't done it yet. Select asterisk, uh, no. for example, that would be the back ID, uh, substrier string from a start time um, 6 comma 2 as month from three duration yeah 3600 as total from trip data group by back ID uh, not such column month, yeah, because we call it then. So here what we do is, again, every time you have a group by, you're creating buckets. In this case, the buckets are defined by back ID and month. So back ID is the back ID from the each one of the records, and the month is the substring uh, from the start time column that starts in 6 and has length to 2. Then for each one of these uh, buckets, buckets, I am... Uh, sum in the trip duration and divide by 3600. That's going to give us the total of hours uh, that it, each one of the bikes was rode in this and each one of these months. Um, and that is it. It's very simple and very useful. So, for example, we here have for back ID in uh, May was uh, used a total of 34 hours and somewhere it's hundreds of hours. We can uh, order by total and somewhere used used not at all but somewhere it's uh, very uh, heavy bits we can use similar things for example this example uh, I can copy paste it here okay here let's reformat it so it's easier to read uh, remember if you want to do a multi-line statement you need three quotes um, usually I formatted it something like this. Um, so you can easily clear, uh, so you can clearly read the, the tables, the columns, and the group by order by. Okay. This is the same that we have above, right? So we have um, for each back ID in each month the number of pieces. Uh, we can use this as a base to generate a pivot table. A way to do that is just uh, to do a select. Let's call this um, a sub select, right? So select asterisk from and then open paren. I usually like having this. Bit of space. 
something like this. So here we haven't changed much. What we're gonna change is the select statement. We can have like ID from k when m equals to six. Then um, total and assume. And this basically just is going to count when the month is six and it's going to put it in a column. Um, so we changed one of the set of rows into one of the columns. Oh, we have to go by. Go by back ID. So remember, every time you use uh, one of these aggregate functions, you need to have a group by and vice versa. So here we have uh, for June, this back ID was used 21 hours and so on and so forth. Um, we can continue doing this uh, for every month. It's actually super simple, just a matter of querying it, to be pasting it. I uh, believe we have until September, so we just do this. This is June, July, August, and September. And remove this comma, execute, and we get we get this. Um, for each back ID, we, we get how many hours it was used in each one of the months. For back ID, um, this number, we got 20 hours in June, 128 hours in July, then I was in September. Um, that's it, it's very easy. Um, our final examples are gonna have to do with gender. So let's get a couple of examples rolling. For our final example, we can use select start station name sum is when gender equals one, then one else zero. So I'm gonna do um, pivot the table effectively and on the gender. So case when gender equals two, then one else zero. No. Missing an end here. Female from trip data group by one. This one refers to the first column here. Um, so I'm taking row by row and selecting the start station name. And if it is a male, I'm putting a one there. If it's a female, I'm putting a, uh, a one in the other column. And I'm looking by that. And we get a mistake. Um, let's see. Select the start station name, comma. There you go. So we have uh, for each station we have have how many male rides, male people started right from there, and how many female people started from there. We can use this um, just a little bit more elaborated. Paste, and then we're gonna do a sub select from here. Mm. Select here and here. <clears throat> okay, so select, for example, we want to see what is the uh, ratio between male and female. So the ratio between male and female can, can be calculated for each one of these stations by selecting by station name and then doing a hundred. What is going here? A hundred times male divided by male plus female as a percentage male from. So, what we did is we took each one of these 710 rows and we could create a new column that is called the percentage male that is uh, the male. male uh, divided by the male plus female for the total. So here we see percentage male equals 65, 73, something like that. 
create. Uh, we can get more elaborate because in some cases you have very few um, observations per station. So you can get better statistics by using something like when the number of rides in that station uh, across our observations is more than 10, um, order by 2 to get the percentage now ordered result. So here we have it. Uh, most stations have males. It's always like there's no station that has more females than males. The closest one is this bike the branches in Central Branch, um, or this 35th and 37th. Um, this sounds like Brooklyn. Um, you get more and more male used um, in places like Broadway, uh, Park, uh, Pershing. So it's a uh, it's interesting statistic. Um, there is a lot of uh, Brooklyn and Lower East Side uh, that have more like more female in comparatively speaking. Finally, let's try to get um, uh, one complex statistic. Um, we can take the station, we can group by age, for example. Um, remember the age we had it as 2017, time of birth year. Um, <coughs> And we can group by time of the day. So we go back, back up and we had our substrings. Um, select the station name. If, uh, 2017 minus per year, start time 10 to this hour. So by one, two, three. In this case, uh, I'm going to take each row. I'm going to calculate the age. Let's call it age. Uh, and I'm going to calculate the hour. And uh, I will put the one in the males and one in the females and group by these three columns. We have four hours. This is going to be too specific because we're going to have each one of the ages. So something we can do is just to round um, this divided by five, the same trick I mentioned before, times five. That's age. Uh, that's going to put. Um, every person in a bucket from 0 to 5, from 5 to 10, 10 to 15, and so on. So here you have it, like, uh, for each station example, um, first up on 110th Street, uh, in the range 25 to 30, at 10 in the morning, you have a bunch of males taking the, the the bikes. Um, that's it. You, using these statistics, you can figure out how many people is, for example, in this case, biking uh, after going out for a drink or something like that. Um, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.